everyone out there and welcome back to the channel. It's Cold Fire. And I'm Kit. And uh, we do apologize because we downloaded about six songs, uh, six video reactions on here. And um, someone let us know that you could not hardly hear the music. Um, that but, was my bad. Sorry. Uh, yeah, after... After they had been on there for a while, I didn't. We didn't know because we didn't. We saw a lot of views on there, but there was no feedback on suggestions or anything like that. One person, you know, suggested, you know, that, you know, to take a look at it or something. So I got up and I came in here and found out that you could hear us talking, but for some reason, our volume wasn't turned on for hearing the music while we were reacting to the video well, you were able or to, to the it. song you were able to hear it it just was very very low so yes. I, I fixed the problem so we're going to redo them long story short um, yes because of whoopsie um so anyways and, and uh just to make it clear um a video reaction is you know can be reacted to a song just as much as it can a video um our channel, we personally like to listen to the song in its, in its entirety so that we can get the feel for it. Because I feel like when you stop more, you lose a lot of that uh, storytelling. Correct. So, and I've noticed that with a lot of Madonna, we have never gotten blocked with any Madonna. No, except for... Except the, for the Woman of the Year speech where she got Woman of the Year in 2016. I reacted to it. And it was only because it was by Lifetime. Lifetime didn't allow us to have it. But other than that, none of our... No. It says, always says a uh, copyright owner allows this material to be yeah. used. But, um, there are some artists out there that no matter how many times you pause it, you they'll still, still block you. Yeah. So that's why we only, like, we do a bunch of videos in one day. Then we release a couple of them at a time to make sure that they don't get blocked if they get blocked then we wait the two days before they get released um from the copywriter and, uh, and then I, go that and i don't have time to edit every single yes. video i'm a disabled veteran and it's kind of hard for me to get up here and do this because i've been having sleep problems and stuff like that Anyways, they don't but no that time. that's just to make a long story short Too but late. we do apologize for that now what we're doing is we reacted a long time ago to um, a lot of Madonna videos, including just about every video off of the Like a Prayer album. But today, I think that there is only one video that we're going to be doing that we didn't get reacted to. Um, the rest of them are going to be just the audio the, from the studio album. And the first one being Love Song by Madonna. Featuring Prince, and if you don't uh, recognize that, uh, Prince did collaborate with Madonna on this album while they were dating for a short period of time, and I think after the album was made, they kind of split ways, um, creative differences or something, and this album was also dedicated um, part to her mother, and partly to Sean Penn, who yeah. she had just gotten divorced from. We just reacted earlier to True Blue, and that was her album that she had made for him when they were happy, sort of, in love. But let's get right into it with Love Song by Madonna. And we will check this one out before posting to make sure that everything is working in it. Okay? So, here we go. Je suis prête. Vous êtes prêts aussi Just be kind. 
a very interesting concept um you got the queen of pop and the prince of pop yeah. doing a song together you can definitely tell it was done with prince in it yeah because i know she collaborates with a lot of artists and um she's still doing that she she tries to keep a lot of her her style in there but she also does try to Harmonize with the person that's doing it with this them. This song, this this music and style. This, I think I'm, I'm. I hate to say it, but I personally think it was like eighty percent Prince on it. And but you know, I mean, I, I like a few songs Prince did, but it um, may have been a the collaboration where she's you know wanted him to do. He wanted to do a song on the album to be recognized for his yeah, contributions to the album, and then she and, just added some of the vocals to and it. And that's fine. It's just I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a. I'm not. But it's kind of on the funky side compared to the rest of the songs yeah. on the album. I'm just not a big Prince fan. Yeah. Um, I think I liked like three songs he did, and that was it. Yeah. But yeah, you can definitely tell. Um, I don't know if it's talking about their relationship while they were dating or if she's still talking about Sean Penn who knows because she's like this is not a love song that I want to sing but she's saying but it's called love song but she's singing reversibly that it's not a love song well, you know, that this you know, is not a love song one thing I've noticed with Madonna and her older music you know at least from like a prayer or prior she 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 was pulling a Taylor Swift. She incorporated a lot of those, a lot of her songs into her relationship and ex past experiences. Well, I think a lot of artists do that. No, I know. And, and I think Madonna, Madonna is, Madonna does it more subtly than Taylor does. As I stated, there's yes. nothing wrong with that. I was just making a point. Yeah. That's all. Oh, no, I know that, but I'm just saying, um, I, but yeah, I have seen the difference because we reacted to her first album. Mm -hmm which was her debut album, mm -hmm. and it was basically just trying to get her on the map. Mm -hmm. True Blue was basically, I mean, Like a Virgin, was whenever she started getting a little bit more grown-up acting and doing more serious songs, even though they were still considered pop. True Blue was kind of like a love album to Sean Penn. I feel like Like a Prayer was when she's like, okay, I need to get away from the, the Madonna wannabes and start paying more attention to the older art older audience okay she was trying to basically build her her, her empire uh yeah. so to speak but um yeah i felt like it was funky um it was in it was in the same thing that you would hear if if prince made a whole album this song probably would have fit right perfectly in yeah, with it. Probably. That's probably why the the song was never airplayed or they never made a video to it. Yeah. And she never ever, I don't think, done this into a concert no. in, in a concert that I, I said, first a of lot of these songs that we're going to be reacting to. She, I don't think she ever. The first time I've a, heard this song was when, well, the first time I reacted to it that nobody could hear. Yeah, um, but, but the that point. Was, that yeah. was the first time I heard about it. But the point is, um, like uh, we had said before, we're we're going through the Madonna journey, but we're leaving no stone unturned that we possibly can. So every song out there, in our opinion, counts because they are Madonna songs. They're all great songs in some way or form or fashion. So even when a lot of people don't think that... Uh, like the most powerful ones on here, are like a prayer, express yourself, mm -hmm. 
cherish old father my god that video was so well done it was not even funny but those were the powerful songs on there and these only those were the only ones that got really played well keep it together got a little bit of airplay but well, it didn't go got, hardly nowhere you got to have strong titles but a lot of songs you have to fill in with the concept you gotta have strong titles on an album in order for an album to even survive right so yes and if it wasn't for those songs that you mentioned this album would not have survived that's all yes so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed it we're going to wrap this up and we'll see you on the next song thank you love you